What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with a review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 11 episode number two. Um, the episode, what was the episode titled? What was the episode titled? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Two truths and a lie. All right, you guys, this was a good episode for me. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought about it. But before we get into the review, um, if you guys are watching this video or any other videos on my channel and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, what are we doing here? Like, stop taking me out on a date and leaving me at the end of the date with the bill. It ain't cool. Hit the subscribe button, you guys. Please hit it. Um, hit that like button and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. Now, with that being said, let us go ahead and get into this review of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Actually, before we get into the review, I want to discuss something. I just want to talk about something real quick. You know, I see people on Twitter right now talking about what happened at the end of the episode. That is one of the reasons that I didn't care for this particular person because of I could see that in her. I could see that in her. I kind of see it. And then, because she gives, you know, she gives the Southern Bell. I mean, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I see a lot of people be upset about the Real Housewives of Dallas, but at least with Dallas, I mean, it's a racist. This is Texas is a state that is a little bit racist. Just putting it out there to you guys, but whatever. Let us go ahead and jump into the episode review. Here's the interesting thing with this episode. Because I don't know how I'm going to stretch this out. Garcelle. They showed us one scene with Garcelle. But then the next time we saw Garcelle, they showed the title card for Kyle. And I was like, why don't y'all just do the continuation with Garcelle? Now, I got it that Garcelle was meeting Kyle. But why don't y'all just post-production I guess so Garcelle I don't know who Garcelle was on the phone with but she was on the phone and Garcelle is on her way to meet Kyle so she and Kyle are going to have a conversation this is the first time that they are you know really talking since the reunion last season and you guys know the reunion was a shit show like literally figuratively the reunion last season was a shit show and this, like I said, they're, they're mean up at top. I do like the fact that Garcelle said, you know, with this conversation with Kyle, she didn't want it to be with, you know, she didn't want it to be in front of the other girls. She just wanted it to be her and Kyle one-on-one. -on -one, and I respect that. And I, I think that would, like, I know this is reality TV. I know we need the drama. But I think sometimes it, some of the women could probably get over some of the things that they go through if they just have a solo conversation instead of bringing it to the group. But again, like I said, it's reality TV. I get it. We need to dial up the drama. So I definitely understand it. But yes, yeah, suffice it to say, Garcelle, she's meeting with Kyle so that they can discuss everything that's occurred between those two. So that's pretty much it. And then we'll move over even and talk about Garcelle and Kyle when they have their conversation. But let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. Next up, let's discuss Erica. Erica, Erica, Erica. Now, you know... I love Erica. If you haven't saw my, if you didn't see my video last season, or you haven't saw any of my tweets, I love Erica. Erica is my girl. I know most fans don't like Erica, couldn't care less. I like her, but um, Erica, the word for the season is modesty. You know, be modest. Um, you know, donate. Um, what else? Be modest. Donate. That's, those are the big two key words, modesty and donate. Be modest in everything that you do. Your hair, your makeup, your outfits, be modest. Now, granted, I know in this scene that she's in, she did say that, you know, one of her, they made it, they made it evidently clear to say to us that it was, you know, the, those pieces were gifted to her. I don't care if they were gifted to you. I don't care if somebody boosted them. Whatever you did. You should have said, you know what? Oh my God, those are really, really nice pieces. How about we do this? How about we auction off some of my clothes and let's donate to a worthy charity? How about a charity with kids? You know, anything of the sorts. Just saying. 
because I mean we all know the issues that are going on with Erica and and um and Tom at this point. Now, someone on Twitter, I don't know if it's one of the producers or what, but they did say that the fun fact of the episode was that all this stuff that happened in this episode was filmed on October 28th and Erica filed for divorce on November 3rd. So, when did that, oh, okay, so I get, okay, I'm, I guess I'm gonna let Erica have a small pass, but nope, you still should have, you still could have been modest. You still could have been modest. You still could have donated. Love you, Erica, still, still love you, but yeah. That would have been your best friend. So then Sudden shows up. So they're both talking about, you know, how they're excited to go to Tahoe. And Sudden gave this very weird story that I didn't understand how it was relevant. That she has a friend that was a pilot, right? And he was on the set of a porn. And he lost his license because the actress in the porn gave him a blowjob. Now she said another term that I had never heard, but Erica automatically knew that she was saying that he got a blowjob. So he lost his license because he got some head on camera. Interesting. Interesting. If it, nope, never mind, shut up, don't say that. Don't say what you won't say. Mm -mm, not going there, not going there. So here was the confusing thing for me when it came to sudden. So we all know that sudden is living in Kyle's house, correct? And thanks, shout out to the subscriber who left in the comment section what was going on with Sudden, why she was in Kyle's house. Because <clears throat> I didn't, I actually did miss that last week, Kyle, you know, them explaining, and I did miss that. It had nothing to do with Sudden, I just really did miss that. So Sudden got a house, I guess, right? She got a house, she said she lost the house, so now she's going to build a house. Okay. That's cool. I don't have no issues with that. That's pretty cool. Because I was wondering last week, I'm like, why did Sudden go and rent Kyle's house instead of her building her own home? I was confused about that. But shout out to the subscriber who confirmed, you know, cleared everything up for me. And then this week she cleared it up. I'm like, oh, okay. So she's going to build her own home. Cool. I'm all here for it. If you got the funds, go ahead and knock it out. All right, you guys, so now let's talk about Kyle. So Kyle and Garcelle, they met up with the, each other, correct? You guys might hear them upstairs thumping and bumping. I don't understand it, but whatever. I gotta really think about this. Um, talk to myself, sorry, you guys. So yeah, Garcelle, she met up with Kyle. I wonder if you could like, um, can you soundproof a, I know you can soundproof a room where people can't hear you, but can you soundproof it to where they can't hear you? I mean, not you. Can you soundproof it to where you don't hear them? That's something. That's something to look into. Noise cancellation. Can you can you do that in a room? Noise cancellation. Hmm. That'll be something to look into. Noise cancellation. Because if we if you can, I'm gonna noise, I'm gonna do that to this whole entire apartment. Because you can literally hear them everywhere in my apartment. You can hear them in this room, the living room. And in my bedroom. Hmm. Let's look into that. Mental note about that. Sorry, you guys. Look into noise cancellation in room. Because I know you can say I know I'm. A, I, I, that was my whole thing. I do want to. I did want to soundproof this room, but I wonder if you can noise cancellation. All right. Back to the show. Sorry, once again, sorry guys. Um, Garcelle, so she met up with Kyle. So they're talking about their relationship with each other, how, which it was kind of interesting to me last season because when Garcelle and Kyle first met each other at Kyle's house, they hit it off, they had fun with each other. But the thing that, the first thing that set things off, I believe, was that, that event that um, Garcelle invited all the ladies to where she said, you know, my new best friends, well, you know, some of them. And then when she also went on to watch what happens live with Andy, and Andy was asking her questions about, you know, which of the ladies was, you know, you know, more inviting to her when she first joined the show and which ladies weren't. And she said that Kyle wasn't. So Kyle said, you know, she just felt like, damn, when she heard all when, she, when all that stuff happened, she was like, damn, like, I thought, she's like, damn, Garcelle, you didn't even give me a chance. 
So Garcelle said that, yeah, you were nice to me when I first met you, but in our interactions, I didn't feel like you were listening. I didn't feel like I was being heard. And I will give Garcelle that one because what, what who, <laughs> it was when Kyle was arguing with Dorit about the glam and, and, and um, Garcelle chimed in and Kyle completely ignored Garcelle. So yes, I'm gonna give Garcelle that one. She didn't listen to you. I definitely will give you that one, Garcelle. So Kyle says that, you know, she wants to move forward with Garcelle. And Garcelle says, okay, we can do that. But first, I got to ask you a question. Now, you guys remember, at the reunion last season, Kyle made mention that, you know, at her charity event, Garcelle raised her paddle, but Garcelle never sent the money in. And... Oh, wow. That plane is really low. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> um, where was I at? Garcelle, paddle, Kyle, not paying. So what happened is Garcelle said that they sent the information for her to pay to an address that she hadn't lived at in years. So I'm like, oh, so this was just basically bad communication on Kyle's people's part. I'm gonna let, let Kyle tell that, you know, she doesn't deal with the money. So this is an issue on Kyle's end. Um, so then Garcelle asked her, so would you have said this to any of the white women? And Kyle's like, and it's a good question to ask. I, 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 I'll give that to Garcelle. It is a good question to ask because you know how people love to paint black people out, how we don't do this, how we don't do that. You know, oh, you see, because, and, and I kid you not, like, because I've saw it before. <laughs> And I've heard it, you know, because when people see a group of black people at a table, they're like, oh, shit, they ain't going to tip us. I'm like, how do you know that we're not going to tip you? I'm like, how do you know that? Like, honestly, when I go out to restaurants, I see more white people that don't tip than black people because I see black people tip all the time. Because I, I, I used to pay, I used to take an extra note. I used to notice that when I would go out to Cheddar's, you know, and I would look at, I would just notice, I would observe people. Like one night I went to, I went out, to, I went there to eat at the bar. I do this every Friday. I would go to, oh, I should do that this Friday. You know what? We are going to do that this Friday. If the bar's open, we going inside, we sitting down because I ain't been out to eat in a full year and I'm fully vaccinated. I think I'm going to do that this week. I think we're going to do it this week. We're going to um, where am I? What am I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah. So I've saw it like one night I went to the bar and somebody, I don't know if they thought this was a joke or whatever. I think I still had that picture on my phone. Someone thought it was a cute joke <clears throat> to leave a tip. The tip was ready for it, 16 cents. It was a dime. It was a nickel and it was a penny. I was like, that is so fucked up. You think like they literally left that as a tip, 16 cents. <clears throat> and it really pissed me off. I'm like, that's childish. These people sat here and waited on you hand and foot. And that's the least that you can give them is 16 cents. Actually, when I was doing like I, I do Uber Eats part time, like one night, one girl, she tipped me 49 cents. I'm like, what the fuck was that? I want to tell her, I wanted to, I really want to get back at her and tell her like, baby, you could have kept that 49 cents. It was not worth it to me. What the fuck can I do with 49 cents? Like 49 cents? Fuck you and that 49 cents. Hope you choke on that food. <clears throat> but yeah, so Garcelle explained it to her and Kyle was like, oh no, that's not what, you know, that's not it at all. Like I do apologize to you. <clears throat> so... That's it for Garcelle. Well, Kyle, let's move over to Crystal. All right, you guys, and Crystal. So this was really mostly our introduction to Crystal. So Crystal, you know, her husband, Rob, you know, he did. <clears throat> she said he's done um, The Lion King. He was in his late 20s, early 20s. Something. He was in his 20s. 
He's done a lot of good, he's done a lot of movies. I was like, oh wow. And I'm here for Chris, so, baby, name drop, name drop, drop all his movies, whatever you gotta do. Big up your husband, I'm, I'm here for it. <clears throat> so she says, you know, for him being a producer, they do get to travel for work. She says they lived in different places. She says they lived in China. They lived in New York. I wonder how was that for them living in China? I would love to know what that experience was like. I mean, I know she's Chinese, but I wonder what that experience was like for him. Just wonder. I wonder what that experience was like. So we also find out that Crystal is someone who likes to schedule things. I'm like, okay. I'm not great when it comes, I, I can schedule things, but I don't always follow through with my schedule. I should get better at that. That's why I have those planners. Um, so then we, she talks about her brother. He's a pop star over in China. She talks about the fact that he is living with her due to COVID. And I don't know if this, I'm, I'm gonna say housekeeper, because I don't, I didn't, I didn't really look at what Lucy's title was at the end of this, at the bottom of the screen. So I don't really know what Lucy's title is, but I love Lucy. Lucy kept it real with her. When she got them shoes, she's like, how many feet do you have? I'm like, hey, I like Lucy. I like Lucy. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. I like Lucy. But let's move on. All right, you guys, let's move over to Tahoe. So the ladies are all showing up to the airport. Rena's already at the airport. Garcelle shows up. She's like, ugh, awkward. Then Kyle shows up. Then Kathy, everyone shows up. And Erica, Erica, Erica. Erica, <clears throat> you let the jokes write themselves, huh? You showed up in an orange jumpsuit. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give a joke, but once again I will say the key word. Modest. That's the key word, Erica. Just saying. A little bit goes a long way. And in your case, it would go a hell of a long way. So they finally make it to Tahoe. Now, Garcelle, when they got on a plane, she's not a big fan of small planes. Neither am I. I will give it to you that one on Garcelle. Because I rode a small plane when I traveled to Atlanta. So I rode a small, because I was in my hometown. So I came from my hometown of Tyler to Dallas. Then I went out to Atlanta. And the plane from my hometown here, that plane was small as hell. Um, the house is nice. It has 17 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms. That's interesting. Um, we find out that Kyle and, you know, uh, Kathy are on good terms. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I enjoy Kathy. Kathy is quirky and I like, I, I really, really like Kathy. Kathy is my girl. I like Kathy. Um, Let's see. Then we see the girls, they have dinner and Kyle's gonna make dinner. She made pasta. Um, Crystal made the margaritas. She was also gonna make some salmon. She made the salmon, but baby, she burnt the hell out of that salmon. Burnt the hell out of it. How in, I mean, how did you do that? What did you have the oven? I mean, what did, did you put it? What did you set the oven at? Did you not put a timer on you? like? Did you not put a timer on you? Did you not think, hey, my shit been in there for a minute. Let me go check it. Okay, you good. But whatever, they ate the food. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Wouldn't have ate it. I would have went, I'd be like, you know what? Let me go find me something to eat real quick. Let me Postmates, let me Uber, let me do something because I'm not eating. I don't eat burnt food. Only thing that I will eat that's burnt the only thing that I burn intentionally is a pizza. I like a, I like a little, I like my pizza to be a little bit crispy. That sounds like it's, I'm burnt, not burnt, not like burnt, but I don't like my cheese. I like my cheese a little bit brown. You know, when it comes down to, I like the cheese just to be a little bit brown. That's me. Most, some people might not like that, but for me, when it comes to a pizza, I like my pizza. I like my crust, my, not my crust, but I like my cheese. I like my cheese a little brown. Not black, brown. Yeah, that's the only thing that I'll do. Maybe a sausage. Oh, yeah, I love a good, 
if you put it on the grill, whoo, whoo, a good little crispy sausage on the grill. Oh, that's making my mouth water so bad. But yeah, she burnt it, suffice it to say. Wouldn't have ate it. Would have found me something else to eat. <clears throat> so then after that, the ladies go and sit down. Um, actually, before that, Sutton gave them a gift with some flask. <laughs> they asked Kathy in, the, in, the, in her interview, what would you put in it? She said, maybe some mouthwash. Crystal says she's never used a flask. Speaking of their interview looks, Garcelle. What is up? Is it that that... I don't like any of Garcelle's interview looks this so far this season. Not a big fan of them. Who is styling Garcelle? They need to be fired. So then after that, they play the game of two truths and one lie. Uh, crystals. Very interesting. She worked at an escort business. She worked for escort service. She was a receptionist. She was propositioned to be a madam. Interesting. Child, Kathy don't know the child, Kathy didn't understand what the game was. Kathy gave all truths. I don't know if Erica told what her truths were. One of them, she said she was adopted, but she said she was adopted by her stepfather. Um. So after that, they all go off. Um. So Sutton and um Sutton, Crystal, and and Kyle, they're in the kitchen. They're drinking. And Renna and Garcelle are upstairs and they're talking. So Garcelle is talking to Renna about how she feels like, you know, you feel that after our last meeting together that everything was good with us, but it's not good with us, Renna. We're not good. I'm sorry, but I like Renna, but I would not be friends with somebody like Renna, especially on this show. No. Because if, if she said she don't know, she, she can't promise her that she, if, if Garcelle told her something in confidence that she wouldn't tell it. Absolutely not. We're not going to be, then I won't tell you anything. You will see it when the show comes out. Um, so Kyle, Sutton, and um, Crystal are discussing Garcelle. So Kyle is just getting um, Crystal caught up on the history with her and um, Garcelle. And she explains what Garcelle explained to her about the stereotypes of black people. And, you know, Crystal tried to try men and, you know, make them understand that, you know, although I don't know Garcelle's story. I don't know what her, what stereotypes are for her, but there are some Asian stereotypes. And then Sutton got in her feelings about it, and she's talking about she don't like the people say about rednecks. Girl, that is, you are comparing apples to oranges at this point. You literally are. You are comparing apples to oranges, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why I don't like Sutton. That whole Southern Belle thing, like y'all do know. She's from Georgia. I don't know what part of Georgia she's from, but y'all do know the South. Georgia, Texas, you know, some of these Southern states are red and they're Republican and they are very, what, racist. I'm not saying that Southern's racist, but she could be a Karen. She could be an insensitive ass Karen. Uh, and you know, um, Chris was like, don't tell me you're one of those. Don't tell me you're one of those people that say that they don't see color. I really hate those people that say that they don't see color. I really hate those. I'm sorry, if you're one of the people that say that you don't see color, miss me with that lie. Miss me with that lie. Unless you're colorblind, you see color. Let's just be real. But you guys, that's a review. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Let me know what you guys think about Sudden. Crystal, I think I'm going to enjoy, I, I've said it last week and I'm saying it again this week, I think I'm gonna like Crystal, I really do. Sutton, no, I knew I wasn't gonna like Sutton. I, I, I didn't like Sutton last season and it didn't change. It didn't change for me. But yeah, that's it you guys. Like this video, leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else. All right, you guys, and that's it. So do me a solid favor out there. You guys stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. <clears throat> Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Don't wear your mask. Be safe in whatever you do. And be blessed, you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, which I'll see you guys tomorrow for Run Up Hip Hop. All right, you guys, that's it. Bye. Have a good night. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.